All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are real time. Today, we're back with the next Abbott Elementary. This is season three, episode six, Willard R. Abbott. Obviously, we had a little bit of a break here with the Abbott, I think, for the award shows. But we are back. Last episode was the breakup. Very, very sad for the uh, Jacob and Zach fans, which I think we all are because they did break up. We learned that they've been struggling for a while. And as per usual for Jacob, he just didn't know how to like rip the bandaid off. So he tried going to all these measures to get Zach to break up with him. Just doing stuff to annoy him. And then eventually after some talk, I think with Gregory, he was like, okay, I'll just do it. He did it. Then he, for some reason, brought up the fact that he, he's he been trying to do to get him to break up with him. So they ended on really bad terms, actually. Zach was very, very mad. Uh, so I, I really hope it's on it for Zach. He's been such a great character uh, when he has popped in the show. So hopefully they can rekindle like eventually in the show. This episode's name is Willard R. Abbott. Um, he's the founder of Abbott Elementary. I'm not sure if he's alive. I mean... Abbott Elementary seems like a school that could have been open uh, a very long time ago. Because um, most founders of schools this day, I feel like, aren't... Like, it's not new, It's unless it's a new school. But I don't know. I feel like maybe if he is alive, he comes in. And it could be under Janine's doing, saying, Oh, let's get the guy who uh, created the school to come in and talk to the kids, say what he thinks, you know? Yeah. I'm very excited to, to watch this episode. I did watch the Oscars last night and this Abbott elementary probably had like four or five ads for this episode during the Oscars. So I I feel like this is going to be a special one. They literally called it a special episode after the Oscars and Zuff, they did say, Oh no, it would be, it would be featuring an Oscar nominated cast. I don't know what that means or who that means. Bryce does because Twitter spoiled him. Film updates. Fuck you. Thank you guys. I know that Billy Eilish is in it. Well, he made that up. He made that up. But uh, yeah, um, I am excited to watch this. Especially, I'm always excited to watch Abbott, but especially because of that, um, I'm sure that this is going to be a really good episode. All right, guys, that's pretty much it, though, before we get into this episode. If you guys have been enjoying these Abbott Elementary reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, Talk. All of our social media is in the address to our PO box. But yeah, let's get into it. Season 3, Episode 6 of Abbott Elementary, Willard R. Abbott. Let's go. Okay, Khalil, come on, you're up. What you got? Oh, God. Is this it? Come on in. There it is. Oh, <laughs> Bradley Cooper. <laughs> It's Bradley just Bradley Cooper. Co- oh, and he's playing Bradley Cooper. Uh, well, whenever I'm in Philly, you know the deli across the street? Uh, that's my first stop. My dad used to always take me there. They're the best hoagies in the city. Everybody wanted to take a picture with them, so I figured you'd see. Oh, uh, yeah, you betty. <laughs> I love that he's playing himself. That's awesome. <laughs> he loves the Eagles. I'm not in Spider-Man, but I am in Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, he no, is. Best character. He's rocking, right? All of them. The he's rocking. Oh, really? Oh, he's doing oh. it. Oh. And he's just not that into you. Well, Janine, that was rude. No, I, I mean, he's just not that into you. It's my favorite Bradley Cooper film. It's more of an ensemble, but if you think about it, it's Justin Long's movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you crazy Bradley Cooper. <laughs> 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 you look different in person. You don't look famous. Yeah, shouldn't your teeth be whiter? Oh, my God. You should, but I can't whiten them because they're too sensitive. Oh, I just loved you in the holdovers. Mm. It was just... Not in that. Who does she think he is? Uh, it's the hangover and... Oh. Guys, he's literally in a critically acclaimed film right now. Maestro. Oh, that's a sensitive topic for him. Yeah. Everybody was an Oppenheimer. My other camera's here. It's a long story, Brad. Bradley. Can we stay and take just one picture? Yeah, of course. Okay. Thank you. They're going to get a pick. It's so exciting. I can't wait to tell everyone this district. Oh, you work at the school district? Yeah. Oh, you know that these schools are criminally underfunded. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm working on it. Let's just take the picture. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that is that it? Is he is he Maybe just gonna be gone? gone? Might just be it. <laughs> what is he up for an Oscar for? Maestro. Best, best actor for Maestro. Did not win any of them. Sure, it's a good film though. There's my star. Hey, you never sent me thank you flowers. This is my nightmare. Mm-hmm. Why does everyone love Gregory? He's a lovable guy. I answered my own question. In the city of Philadelphia. We're going to be a historical place. Ka-ching! 
We've always known how special Abbott is, but now we're historic. Like the rocket stairs. Not quite as rocket <laughs> as a fictional character. Oh, how about we throw you down those stairs and you can see how. Oh, don't say that shit. We're probably going to be a part of walking tours. Oh my gosh, who's going to give the tour? I, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> What was that? Oh my. I thought she was throwing something at them. Streamers. We're partying on the district's path. Oh, and there will be pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most important thing when you're in pizza. elementary school. I have to admit, this is impressive. I already feel more distinguished. You can't even spell distinguished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy you're happy. But, no but, there's a but. I can feel a but. Damn, you freaky. <laughs> <laughs> but, I knew it. Man, this is just local politics. It's got nothing to do with our school. We're finally getting the recognition we deserve. I feel like only the newer, uh, what the fuck, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> I feel like only the newer teachers care about this. The cupcake, you know it. To match my I Heart Willard R. Abbott shirt. I love that. You know, I really admire the commitment to the middle of this one. Does anyone know what the R stands for? Uh, maybe Rashid? No, probably, probably Robert. <laughs> Damn. Janine Teague to the stage for opening remarks. <laughs> Look how short she is. <laughs> thank you, Elizabeth. Oh, thank wow. You, Elizabeth, and thank you. We love you, Willard. Hey, yes. Hey, 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 Willard or Abbott was a race. <laughs> oh. Damn. On the south. Truth. Know your history. Uh oh. That's easy. I want everybody to just calm down. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> Now we know what the R stands for. Oh, God. Dialoguing and different points. Uh-oh, we got to figure out what he did. Willard R. Abbott was a city planner. And his city plan was to uphold segregation while redlining all of Philadelphia. Don, did you know about this? Oh, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Guess that. What? <laughs> she said that with her chest. Oh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what if we change the school's name to um, blanking on people who aren't? We can't not be Abbott. I'm sorry, Jimmy, this is too messy. We're out. No, my clout! My clout? <laughs> Stupid designation is not going to change anything about this school. We didn't have one yesterday, we don't have one today. But look on the bright side. The kids got peace. Yay! The plaque is already made, so you're out of luck. Unless you can find another. Willard R. Abbott of note and say that's it. Uh oh. Who's changing uh -oh. their name? You think someone's changing their name or they're finding another Willard R. Abbott? So if my minions can find a better Abbott, can we have the money? <laughs> minions. I spent it on zip ties, beans, and birth control, and there's no returns in the apocalypse. I guess so. Chop chop to the light. We need to find another Abbott. Oh, Abbott used to have an indoor pool. Wait, no. Apparently the basement flooded in 63 and they just didn't drain until 71. Who? <laughs> Look at this picture from the district archives. Yeah. I don't know if I ever had black teachers back then. I didn't know Philly did. Did Abbott have a real life owl as a mascot back in the 80s? You keep reading. World's most rabid owl discovered. <laughs> oh god. Oh my. I cannot wait to get my librarian program off the ground. <laughs> Library program? Yeah. Did I not tell you? Okay team, I'm gonna go see if I can rustle up anything in admin. Okay, Jacob. Giving them some space. Reading the room. They've given they will. They've given they won't. Now they're giving two people that kissed but decided to just be friends for some godforsaken reason. Why? So, yeah. Figured they should have some time alone. Wise, oh. Jacob. Wise. That would be nice. Yeah, I know. I know. But that's amazing, though. Thanks. Look at you. Programming stuff and taking names. <laughs> flirting. Flirting. With a pen, that's a game of tic-tac-toe. I like yeah, this. Yeah, I know you do. Guys, guys, I found something. Okay. What? We searched for Willard R. Abbott and Bill Abbott, but we didn't search for Willie. We're going to find a crazy Willie. A.K.A. Willard R. Abbott the Fifth. He's a direct descendant. Environmental philanthropist. Seems promising. He funds environmental research and he works to combat misinformation. He's, he's, he's basically a hero. This is going to be somebody we know. You think so? I think. What a medium article. Oh, no. Denouncing the racist views of his great great grandfather and namesake Willard R. Abbott. Hot damn! There's gotta be, there's gonna be a butt. I didn't recognize that guy. Um, seems legit. We vetted him. At the district, that means check for a pulse. You know, 
Why do I just have a sinking feeling that he's just not actually a good guy? Yeah, I feel like he's gonna be a racist for some reason. All right, fill in the blank. Women are great leaders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thoughts on birds? Real and majestic. Also, go birds. Yeah. Lifetime season ticket order. Okay. <laughs> Where were you on January 6th? Oh, jeez. Oh, there's the important question. The real question. <laughs> in a coma, actually. Because you fell off a wall. Medically induced. Tricky wisdom tooth situation. <laughs> that is great. Okay. There's something, bro. I've spent my life and career using family money to try and fight environmental prejudice and inequality. I mean, he seems like a great guy. I just I feel like it just can't. It's too good to be true. This planet is in desperate need of saving, and there is no place for racism from one edge of the earth all the way. To He's a flat earther. He's a flat earther. He's a fucking oh, flat earther. Oh. He's a flat earther. <laughs> That this flat earth is our home. Okay. For now. Excuse me, what? Yeah, all right. Let's, um, hold on, hold on. Let him cook. <laughs> gravity of the is undeniable, even though gravity itself isn't real. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. It's better than having yeah. someone. No, 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 no. The earth is a globe. It is round, student. Then explain maps. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm sorry, Janine. We were never here. And the moon is a spaceship. Oh, that's what Mr. Johnson said. <laughs> no. I feel like they don't have to take the plaque no, away for that. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Why are you so obsessed with a plaque? I just love this school so much. Yes, that's your defining characteristic. <laughs> what makes Abbott special for you? The people. Kids, teachers like you two. Not a plaque. A plaque can't convey that. Plus, somebody would have just stolen that plaque and melted it down and made, like, the perfect lightweight meat tenderizer with just a... a <laughs> I think she had plans for that plaque. Mm -hmm. No one else would have done that. What we do is we teach these remarkable students the best we can with what we have. That is what teachers have done here at Abbott since it opened. There. Uh, light bulb. I don't know why I was waiting for random people to tell us that Abbott is important. I'm Janine T, damn it. I don't wait for any. Mm-hmm. And I overlooked some right in front of us. Oh? Oh, is it that picture that they... Oh, mm -hmm. oh no, they were looking at the old oh, articles of the... Blonde women? The was black teachers, the right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's them. Over a century and a half ago, there were no black teachers in this city. And in 1862, Banneker Color School hired Philadelphia's first black teacher. Soon after, another school, our school, hired the first group of black teachers in the city. They came here every day through unimaginable adversity to teach remarkable students while doing the very best with what they had. But it's what's on the inside that counts. And what's on the inside is us. And there would be no us without them. That's beautiful. That was way better than a plaque. That's way, way better than a plaque. Yeah, that was really something, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a cute picture, but <laughs> it with some cash on the side. Oh my god. Which one do you think was the Jacob? <laughs> Dude. Oh. For the last time, stop trying to take my job. All right, well, that was Willard R. Abbott. We found out this episode that the school is actually named after a racist man. So all of this episode, just Janine and the crew trying to figure out a different Will Willard R. Abbott to, to replace. They, they did succeed at first. They thought they, they got a new Willard, but he ended up being a flat earther. I mean, it is pretty crazy to, to believe that, but um, I, I still feel like they could have got the plaque. I agree agree with you guys, but even though they didn't get the plaque, I, I do think, though, what Janine did at the end of this episode was just, like I said, way better than any plaque they could have got. Uh, she had a really beautiful little speech there, and... Um, just another one of those just like feel good moments from Abbott that I love.
Yeah, the the guest star that was hyped up was Bradley Cooper, obviously this episode. Um, I feel like with this show, it's really hard to do guest cameos that are actual celebrities like themselves. Obviously, we had Bradley Cooper this episode. I mean, the story was kind of like he just was outside, so it wasn't really anything crazy, to be honest. But like the one episode, like a few episodes ago, they had obviously the Eagles come on. I think that was pretty cool because mm-hmm. it made sense and everything. Bradley Cooper just happened to be outside. But I feel like with this show, I prefer when the celebrities play characters like we've had with like, I don't know, like Zach Fox as Tyree, Casey Fry, Io as Janine's sister. Uh, I just feel like that it's a lot easier to like lean into than just being like Bradley Cooper was outside getting a hoagie. So he's coming in to take a picture. Um, But still, it's cool to see some faces in this, but yeah, like Rob said, I think they should have just still gave that guy the plaque, even though he was a flat earther. I don't think it, I think it out. It was just much better than the previous, uh, what the school was named after. And it was kind of nice digging into a little bit of history around Abbott because we didn't really know where it came from so now I'm not sure we we is it still just the racist guy who has its name because I mean we didn't really come to a conclusion other than hanging up a picture so I mean we'll see all right guys that's pretty much it though for this episode if you guys have been enjoying these Abbott elementary reactions please drop a like comment and subscribe check out our links in the description we got our patreon our discord our second channel a talk all of our social medias and the address to our p.o box but yeah we'll catch you guys next time for Abbott elementary season three episode seven peace out